Think of this coral head as a kind of super car wash center for huge tiger goobers. These cleaner gobies hang out on the coral head waiting for a customer. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Here comes a tiger grouper with some heavy miles over bad road. Looks like it may need the deluxe full service package. These little cleaner gobies leap into galvanized action. No hesitation, not a pause, absolutely no fear of getting eaten. The cleaners vacuum up parasites and dead tissue. Mmm, yummy. While the grouper just idles his motor, content in the knowledge that symbiosis is working its magic. He gets cleaned, sanitized, and groomed. They get fed. It's a classic win-win. Here's another aquatic service agent, the Pedersen Shrimp, waving its white antennae at a Nassau grouper, who says, yeah, OK. The shrimp works solo and reveals another aspect of the symbiotic relationship between cleaner and customer. No, sure, the cleaner gets fed and the patron is healthier without the parasites. But researchers suspect that both parties enjoy the process as well. It's possibly a safe, sensuous interval in the otherwise constant struggle to survive. The shrimp goes basically wherever it wants, crawling through the delicate gills to pry up and devour parasites, and more importantly, scratching an itch that the grouper itself just can't. These Creole rats are just looking for a quickie, not the full service, just the fish equivalent of a lube and oil change. The Spanish hogfish eagerly complies darting from fish to fish to pluck off parasites. The wrasses jostle each other to get to the head of the line. It's good to know that nature isn't all eat or be eaten. It's also, you clean me, I'll feed you.